Buongiorno from Italy. I'm joined by Agatha and Maida and Michela Giorgelli. Welcome, both of you. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Your research project is called Women Inventors. Agatha, will you please describe the focus and the key elements of this project? Okay, uh, in this project we study uh, the gender bias on uh, patenting activity. And so uh, we tried to test whether the gender gap in the probability to patent in the current time is uh, uh, higher in the Italian provinces uh, where in the Middle Age it was acceptable for women to work. Uh, indeed, uh, with uh, the appearance of the middle class uh, in the uh, medieval communes, so it becomes more common for some women uh, to work. Uh, moreover, some guilds, for example, silk, wool, textile, accepted the women as members more than the other. The distribution of these guilds was not uniform among communes. Uh, Moreover, in the 14th century, uh, communes were prevalent in the northern part of Italy, while uh, the center part was under the Pope States and the south, pop, uh, and the south part belonged to the Regno delle Due Sicilie. And apart from pe peasantry, women were not allowed to work uh, in the latter too. So what we do, we uh, explore this uh, geographical variability to verify whether the local political regimes in the Middle Age had a consistent effect on uh, the likelihood uh, that women became an inventor. And Michaela, why is this project important to you and to the advancement of knowledge in this field? I think that this project uh, combines together the different skills uh, that uh, Agatha, Sandrina and I uh, have. Uh, Agatha has worked a lot on uh, labor market, institution, gender economics. Uh, Sabrina has worked on labor economics as well and on uh, uh, innovation and patents. I also worked on innovation and patents, but more from an historical perspective. So I think that uh, uh, this project is important because it allows us to combine our research interests and learn about an important fact, uh, which is uh, the uh, uh, women participation uh, to uh, innovation. And in terms of uh, the overall contribution to the research uh, on this topic, I think that we will show whether historical uh, factors uh, persisted in culture and uh, how this cultural persistence can affect uh, uh, innovation by uh, women. So, Agatha, the future impact of your research project, what will that be? Okay, uh, the results of our research will shed some light on uh, the literature study, the uh, determinants of innovation. Innovation that is, uh, of course, uh, have a central role for economic growth, and uh, uh, many countries use a variety of policy to spur it. So uh, a crucial aspect for this policy uh, to be successful is uh, to try to understand uh, who becomes an inventor. So our paper focus on a specific channel, the gender bias, that may prevent women uh, from patenting. So it also con may contribute to, uh, to try to understand why, despite the increase of female uh, labor um, uh, for participation, women participation to uh, innovation uh, still remain low. Um, and it also contributes to, to the literature about gender norms. Uh, while it is uh, shown that gender ma uh, bias uh, uh, can have some uh, influence uh, in uh, uh, women's social and economic uh, outcomes uh, through labor market, uh, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first project, the first work that we examine the effect of cultural norms on patenting. So the overall results uh, it, it aims to be informed um, for policy uh, that uh, aims at including female participation in innovation and uh, uh, increasing uh, the overall amount of innovation and consequently uh, the economic growth. So Michaela, the result, these results, when will we have them? 
Uh, so we just started working on uh, this project. Uh, we plan to have some preliminary results by uh, the beginning of uh, next year and a more solid and complete result by the beginning of uh, summer 2021. We are very excited to uh, uh, learn more about uh, uh, women and innovation, and so we are definitely put all our efforts in this project uh, uh, now on. Thank you so much for sharing your idea and the project with us. We wish you the best of luck and look forward to hearing more about the results uh, once they uh, come in. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.